I don't have anything in common with the girls who be scared to ask like men for stuff. Moderate women like this are not tamed. They will look for a way to sponge off your resources, but hate when you call them a gold digger. Definitely not wife material, but on the threshold of being a sex worker. I don't think we could be cool or like be around each other very long because I cannot relate. I can't relate. Like I love asking for stuff. And this is definitely remnants of the sprinkle, sprinkle my state. And I never hesitate. I never feel scared. I'm never like too prideful ever. So my question would be, where do I get the return? Am I gifting you resources just because you're a woman? You see, they quick to say what they want from you, but not quick to say what they will do for you. Only the bl blue pill beta males will be quick to give a woman uh, resources just for existing, putting her on a pedestal. And women like this think they should be rewarded for putting forth no effort. I used to be Miss Independent. That was me, like from the mountaintops I scream, I don't need nobody for nothing. I did this for myself, I did that for myself. Like, I'm self-made, I made my career, bro, which I did. I did all of those things. I got all of the accomplishments out the way when I was young. If you know, you know, but I did a lot and I was very independent for years. And this is what they call the soft girl era, which I also think is manipulation. It's them realizing how difficult it is to compete with men for resources. They'll act like they want to be traditional women and traditional wives without doing any traditional wife duties. They'll aim to spend your money before spending their own. And that in itself is manipulation. But I just decided I don't want to be. I don't want to be Miss Independent no more. I want to be Miss Spoiled Little Brat. I want to be Spoiled Little Daddy's Baby. I want See, they quick to say that you don't want a wife, you want a mom when you ask them to bring traditional values to the relationship. So it's not okay for us to ask about that because we'll be a mama's boy. But when they want their man to act like their father, it's justifiable and also hypocritical. I want to be a little princess. I want to be a little princess, okay? I want to be like, baby, can you please buy this for me? Smushy, bushy, doo doo doo. And is this a strong, independent woman acting like a child? Where do they do that at? Smushy bushy doo doo doo. Smushy bushy doo doo doo. Please, I like that. Like, I want that. I, I need it. So I, I do it. I crave it. Like, I love being a spoiled little princess. And once again, all I'm hearing is me, 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 and I, I, I. But what are you doing in return for getting rewarded? No, you're not getting rewarded for putting on makeup, doing your hair, and dressing up. And for years, I was just this hard independent rock and i'm tired of it. i no longer live that life i'm seeing nothing but red flags first you're strong and independent and now you want to be a spoiled brat i mean both of these strategies are showing disrespect towards men so why should any man take you seriously i don't care what men say i don't care what women say i don't care what any species of whatever say i'm going to ask the worst they're gonna say is no, and then I'm gonna ask somebody else, and I'm gonna ask somebody else, and I'm gonna ask somebody else, because eventually I'm going, and then I'm gonna ask somebody else, and I'm gonna ask somebody else, and I'm gonna ask somebody else, because eventually I'm going. And there you have it, my guy. She's not talking about somebody she's in a committed relationship with. She's talking about the random guys that she have in her rotation. She's talking about the orbiters that will put her on a pedestal. It's so funny how they just get on TikTok and tell their innermost thoughts like we're not going to watch. Yes, it could be material. It could be a bill. It could be a vacation. I'm going to ask for it every single time. I'm going to ask before I spend my own money. I'll tell you that. Spending my own money is the last resort to things that I want in life. Like that is. Women like this don't even know how close they are to being a bum. They have the same characteristics as a panhandler. Instagram and TikTok and OnlyFans have made their heads so big that they believe this is normal behavior. These are the women who get to their 40s. No husband, no kids, no grandkids. And they're crying on the internet talking about how life threw them a curveball. The last resort. Like, I don't care. I just cannot relate to y'all. I, I love that y'all are independent. I love that for y'all. I did it for years. No longer. Okay, no longer, but I, I do salute y'all and I love that for y'all. But when you're ready to come to this side,
And this is the bad advice that will keep women lowly as single well into their 30s, 40s, and 50s. 